Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we look to bring you all the latest celebrity entertainment and behind the scenes news. Well, it appears Kim Kardashian just lives in the limelight and we find ourselves once again unable to pull away. The subject of the socialite sex life is being thrown into discussions as Kim has once again been talking about her time in the bedroom. So let's get into it. Kim is known for being pretty open about her sex life. If we are honest, it is the main reason many know her name from a certain tape. And it doesn't appear she has any plans to change that. Back in 2007, when interviewed by Complex, Kim revealed that she'd rather be in a relationship before becoming intimate and isn't a one night stand girl. That certain tape we mentioned was dropped in the same year, although granted the footage had been recorded when she was still with her ex-boyfriend Ray J. Then in 2018, the Kardashian clan member admitted she had been high during the video and blamed that for the reason for recording. Of course, this is not the only time Kim has committed to things under the influence, as she married first hubby Damon Thomas while high on ecstasy. That said, the marriage lasted three years until 2003. Kim's latest marriage to Kanye did lead her to being even more open about her love life and intimacy, and after filing for divorce in 2021, she led us all into her twerking skills, but stated it was just for the bedroom and joked about using it to try and conceive baby number two with Kanye. In fact, in one episode of her family show, the Kardashian even revealed that she had previously called former hubby Kanye during work for a quickie, specifically because she was ovulating. She actually admitted she took advantage of this for more sex due to the situation. Kim actually states that during their attempts to conceive with ex-hubby Kanye, she was advised to lie down for 10 to 20 minutes after sex to increase the chances of conception, and suggests, with a smile, that by her count they were having sex about 500 times a day. Kim also admitted to having joined the Mile High Club on a private plane, hinting that Kanye was a little kinky when it came to fun places to get it on, even mentioning a public movie theatre. After her troubles with pregnancies, Kim shared a vulnerable moment, saying how she suffered severe body issues, feeling unsexy and compared herself to a whale, finding later empowerment when taking part in her infamous nude photo shoot. Yet, despite this, her sex life apparently got even more exciting since the split with Kanye and finding new fun with serial Riz winner Pete Davidson. It would appear that turning 40 and simply enjoying herself rather than chasing a family led to the best sex of her life. The Reddit TV star said how this had all come from her initial pursuit of Davidson after hearing his reputation and making sure that a memorable kiss shared on Saturday Night Live got a lot saucier. Reminiscing on her hit TV show of One Night where the pair grabbed some ice cream and had, well, a great night. Before the couple's eventual split, Kim shared how her and Davidson had been inspired by advice from her grandmother at a Beverly Hills hotel, sitting in front of a fireplace and had sex to honour her grandmother's belief that it brings true enjoyment to life, showing that to Kim, sex would appear to have a far more existential impact on her than simply just getting down and dirty, and Davidson seemed to be able to deliver on all fronts. Despite all her naughty activities, Kim revealed in her most recent interview, touching on the subject this month, that she is not one for showing off in the bedroom and prefers to have sex in the dark. Although being comfortable with her body during a photo shoot, she is in fact very shy and insecure when it's just her and her lover. It may be dark in Kim's bedroom, but it certainly isn't cold, as she went on to describe herself as a fiery, passionate, and yet sensitive lover, saying that out of 10, she is definitely a 20 when the lights are off. For Kim though, it is all in the connection, and when there are sparks, then they will start to fly. But despite her passionate approach, did admit that she is definitely a fan of taking a submissive role for her man. 
A little more on the subject was revealed on the star's family show, where she expressed her love of NFL players' bodies, saying that the feeling of being lifted by someone with a strong body in a football player position was one she definitely enjoyed. Let's not forget, Kim is no stranger to the experience, having dated both Reggie Bush and then briefly Miles Austin. No secret was left unturned in the interview where Kim went on to reveal that she had lost her virginity at only 14 to the King of Pops Michael Jackson's nephew TJ Jackson, even stating to the shock but possibly not surprise of many that this happened, with her mother's knowledge and even more than that, her support. Kris Jenner even made sure to put Kim on birth control after having a full discussion on the subject. We can't finish off without mentioning that Kim certainly appears to be a bit of a size queen though, as in another interview with Love magazine, she revealed her preference for certain positions and said that for her, there was no such thing as too big. So what do you think about Kim's sex life? Was it what you expected from the lady who made sex tape sexy? Do you think there are a few secrets that even she won't admit to? Who knows? But as always, Kim isn't shy about putting her life on show. Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more juicy updates. Thanks for watching.